In this question, both of these inequalities can be simplified. Generally, you can treat inequalities like equations in the sense that you can do something to one side if you do it to the other. The exception, which doesn't apply here, is that if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative number, you must flip the direction of the inequality. From z plus 7 is greater than 2, we can subtract 7 from both sides, and we have z is greater than minus 5. From z minus 3 is less than 5, we can add 3 to both sides, and we get z is less than 8. Now we can combine them. 5 is less than z is less than 8. That's not in the answer choices. Have we made a mistake? Not necessarily. We can consider possible cases. If it's true that 5 is less than z, which is less than 8, then a possible value of z is 0, for example. That means that it's not true that c must be true, or d, or e. So we can rule them out. Similarly, since we know that minus 5 is less than z, which is less than 8, z could be 7 or 7.5. So b need not be true. Must a be true? Indeed, it must be true. If z is right of minus 5 on the number line, then it's always going to be right of minus 6 on the number line. The correct answer is a.